We're back on WAFV 9 News and 9 and the Hammond Regional Arts Center is opening its color line and shape exhibit Saturday. It showcases quilting and weaving and other uh, fiber based arts from a variety of artists. So here to tell us about it, incoming uh, Center Vice uh, President uh, Kara Kearns and Exhibits Committee Chair Jessica Kim. This is Jessica. This is Kara. Hey, how are y'all? Doing well. well. I love, I mean, you look the part. <laughs> you look the part. This is great. Okay, so the organization is Contemporary Fiber Artists of Louisiana, CFAL. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of this. Tell me a little about the organization first, and then we'll get into the exhibit in Hammond. Well, we are a group of contemporary, local contemporary fiber artists, um, and we are all about um, promoting contemporary fiber arts in the community and um, encouraging our member artists um, in any ways that we can. What are fiber arts? Oh, there are many, many different types of I'm fiber arts. I'm thinking clothes, but no. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, clothes can be fiber arts. There are plenty of clothes that are. Um, I would say uh, we do a lot, our members um, have several different disciplines. They do a lot of weaving, um, art quilting, um, embroidery, some sculpture, um, just a lot beading, felting, you know, you know, if it, if it can be done with fabric, thread, yarn. That's um, what I was waiting on right there. Beads, okay. it, it counts. Uh, <laughs> Jessica, tell us about the, uh, the uh, reception this Saturday and what that is opening in hand. <coughs> Okay, we have an exhibit, Color, Line, and Shape. It's at the Hammond Arts Center on East, ha uh, East Thomas Street in Hammond. The opening reception will be this coming Saturday, uh, November 18th from 4 to 7. Um, and we will be showing, we have about 40 some odd pieces in the show. It's everything from um, applique and improvisational quilting, embroidery, uh, beadwork, felting, um, three-dimensional um, uh, sculpture. We have Queenie the Pigeon. This is <laughs> like, uh, uh, we're looking at some of this, and I think one of our next shots, the shot after this mm -hmm. one, I think is that 3D pigeon. What is that made of? It's, um, that one right it's, there. It's, um, it's, it's I don't really know what's on the inside of it. But that's not but a wood painted pigeon, it's, that's, yeah. It's stuffed with right. wire and so stuffing cool. and it's right. uh, patchwork and embroidery and the artist Lucy Landry uh, often upcycles um, old clothing or uh, found materials. Um, she specializes in these animals. She's originally a doll that maker. That is so cool. And she specializes in these animals. What a now. unique Christmas gift. And this will be on display through the 21st of December. And things will be for sale there. Uh, CFALart.com is your yes. website. And you encourage other artists in the, uh, to get involved with this. You have classes, workshops, quarterly meetings, etc. Yes, exactly. Okay. All of those things. Well, I wanted to wrap that up real quick before we okay. got that, because uh, there's so much more we can go into travel traveling library exhibits and things like that. But mm -hmm. this is cool. Go to their website and learn more about this. This is fascinating. CFALart.com. Fascinating to me because I'm not, you know, creative. But very creative <laughs> gifts on sale at Hammond, so check that out. Ladies, it's Karen, Jessica, thank you all for coming in. We'll definitely keep up with you. Thank you, Johnny. Now thank have you. Have you back on. You're welcome. Uh, now, 9 News This Morning is going to a quick commercial break, and we'll come right back with Stephen the Weather. Stay with us.